Hey y'all, welcome back to the Garden of Twitty. We appreciate y'all coming back out. As you can see, we got a friend out here. And this is in SoCal, somewhere in California. <laughs> this was on a vacation. But uh, here's Austin with Fermenters Club. You can check him out on YouTube. He's also got a group called Fermenters Club on Facebook. So he uh, put out a little ad on, I think it was Facebook, the uh, market or whatever. But I saw you could come and dig up some banana pups. And he's got Namwaz, some big old Namwaz. So y'all know I dug some up. Here we go. Well, sometimes I have success kind of digging around it and okay. exposing the uh, corn there okay. and the roots. Easy enough. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sometimes they can just pop right off if you You're try right, to get, you get up it. under them. Maybe I'll try to, uh, I've done some like use the shovel at the at front the part of here, yeah, and just okay. kind of get up under it and maybe it'll Almost pop like up. Almost like pry it, yeah, right. it from the front. Yes, sir. Okay. Is that deep enough? I don't want you doing all the work, maybe I'll give it a shot. If you, yeah, yeah, I get it. It's just more of like. Yeah, I've been doing bananas for maybe six or seven years. I had a, I had a rack, like the second year I did them. Uh -huh. the third year, it got super, super cold, like negative fifteen. So yeah, what does happen? That does it just they just die off? Or? Yeah, they go all the way back to the ground, and uh, some okay. of them like Cavendish. If you're not protecting it, it's just gone. Okay. There's no more. So I do more protection than anything. Gotcha. But uh, I do a lot of mulch. Yeah, so. just to kind of keep the soil temps you yeah. know, regulated. Yeah, that makes sense. Thinking about uh, making like a small pyramid greenhouse for them. Oh. I just do it like that because uh, seeing a guy do like a uh, like a barrier with straw. Mm-hmm. And like a windbreak? Right. Okay. It didn't work out so well because I did a little stupid thing. I put a greenhouse plastic around it. And I think it's the heat. Oh, the yeah. It kind of <laughs> yeah. mushed it out. My wife was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I'm just going to try. Sure. Sure. Now that I know you're, you're sort of banana. Sort of. I guess. Y'all, that pup gave us so much trouble, but Austin was nice enough to let me uh, get another chance at getting a good pup, so here we go on the second try. Yeah, should go. My wife's gonna be like, you went to someone's house and dug up that <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna try this experimentally when I posted it. I'm like, see if anybody's game. And yeah. Then jump right on in. She blows. Oh, beautiful. Well, there we go. We finally got her. It's just a matter of getting all the roots taken care of now, but I really want to thank you guys for coming out. This was a blast. We had a good time with Austin getting yeah, these yeah, pups. As I said, we got one that was kind of damaged and this one here. But we talked a lot about compost, human culture, uh, bananas, all kinds of things, you know just a good time so i want to say thanks again to austin and you guys go check him out over on fermenters club on youtube and there's a facebook group fermenters club as well hey y'all peace